Capricorn, hi! Welcome to your love reading and welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot on this very snowy afternoon. So if you guys haven't been to my channel before, I really appreciate you stopping by. I always do uh, readings on love and career. And uh, if this resonates, hit the like button, of course. Um, it helps this message get out to your fellow Capricorns. If it does not resonate, don't take it personally. It's just a general reading and um, it might not be for you, but hopefully you'll get something out of it. So you guys, we're going to get some clarity on love, starting with Oracle deck here. This is the Romance Angels deck. I'm going to simply pick out a card that just calls to me. We're going to put it aside. And at the very end of the reading, we're going to be getting some, some messages from this just to tie it all together. For love, Capricorns. Love for Capricorns. We only take the cards that choose us. So flying out of the deck is the moon card. This represents the hidden. This represents the subconscious. It represents sometimes our fears. So... Let's, and I have to tell you guys that, and this is some more quiet Virgo energy, I have to tell you that all the readings today have been really intense, <laughs> so strap yourself in. Okay, so the Hermit card, this is a quiet contemplative energy, and it's um, sometimes we can't fall back on what's in front of us, we have to fall back on how we feel, uh, our intuition, so kind of reaching into your intuition. Okay, we've got the star the star card we've also got okay so I think that something has made you I don't want to say that I want to get a little bit more clarity this is unfolding I want to know what who is this king of wands in reverse tell me more about the king of wands in reverse there is somebody here okay so somebody who um, when they are in balance and they're healthy they can be very attractive, they can be very confident, they can be fiery and entrepreneurial, and they're visionaries, and the list goes on. They can be really charming to be around. This could be a fire sign. But when they are out of balance, they can be destructive, they can be too aggressive, they can be overwhelming with their agenda, um, they can be egotistical, and um, they can sometimes be bullies. And so this, um, this entity, this person, whether you resonate with it or this is somebody else in your life, um, they're off kilter, they're off balance, and there's an ending coming. Um, with a death card, it's not literal death, but it's also a rebirth. So new things are allowed to come in. This is making space for new things to come in because something has got to go, something's got to end. And either this person is gonna get balanced again, they need to get, you know, help themselves out of that space or they just need to get out of the way because something about this behavior is coming to an end. It's not working for you, okay? So then we have um, two sorts. So this talks about a choice one has to make, but it's hard to make because maybe there's some fears attached or maybe it just feels confusing that's why it's symbolized with the blindfold on our eyes but the truth is that this individual can take off the blindfold at any point the moon behind her represents intuition and the hermit can take you there so let's unpack these cards just a little bit more um with i would like to know more about the moon card falling out is a chunk so yeah we have a little bit of Hmm, cloudiness, confusion, maybe reprioritizing around this individual. Now, this may be you or somebody else, but let me describe for you this individual. This is somebody who's could be a water sign, but they could and they could be a little more sensitive. They could be sensitive, wear their heart on their sleeve, they could be compassionate, empathetic, very, very caring, sometimes overly concerned for others. So I want a little bit more clarity. What is this? This has a lot of Piscean energy all over it with the Moon card and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so some of you guys are actually getting so, um, somebody, this this Queen of Cups, male or female, anybody in between, doesn't have to be gender related. This individual is, I think, coming at you, uh, attracted to you and with an offer, with a love offer. Um, for a few of you guys, it might not be romantic, but this largely looks like they got the hots for you. They might not even be your normal type. Maybe you resonate a little bit more with people who are more practical, but this one uh, is fascinating. But I think that there is a little bit of wishy-washiness. There's a little bit of, um, and, and it, 
is all connected to the moon card, which again represents the hidden. So this could be because you just don't know much about this person and or this could be that they, mm, there's something kind of scares you a little bit about it. So what's this hermit card? The Capricorns, what's this hermit card? Wants to fly out. That wants to fly out too. We've got the Queen of Swords and we've got another Swords card the, and the Balance. This is the, this is just us. Okay, so something needs to be communicated. Mm -hmm. It could be with this water sign. Something needs to, I think, be communicated. Boundaries maybe. Um, but I think whatever this is, this does look like, um, for a lot of you guys, it could be legal matters somehow. It could be drawn into legal or contracts because these two rule over, um, sometimes entities, contracts, things that are, um, definitely far away from the emotional plane. But, um, when you get the justice card, it always is a great sign that things are going to end up in your favor. Uh, Interesting. What is this Queen of Swords for our Capricorns? What is the Queen of Swords? Seeing things in black and white. What's the Queen of Swords? I feel like the cards are Queen of Swords. Yeah, moving forward. I do feel like this is a contract connected for a lot of you guys. Something black and white, something <clears throat> moving forward. Something is moving forward here, uh, having to do with contracts or legalities, but it does end up really good for you. Um, we have the star card, ruled by Aquarian energy, working with others to be heard, to be listened to, to make things come about, to feel like things are working in your favor. Um, so others might be helping you. This could be getting legal advice. This could be getting... Um, uh-huh. And um, a lot of this is interesting because you have a very, um, it's almost like you guys are working somehow with an entity that is very black and white, that is not an emotional um, uh, place of advice. It's It could be therapy for some of you guys. I know that that's been coming up a lot in some of these readings, but um, there is almost this you know i feel like a lot of you guys are like somebody's on the outs and they're destructive and they're shitty energy they got shitty energy they're egomaniacs maybe they're bullies just for a few of them but you know um and they're on their way out it's just like and that is maybe who you are having this, um, the, getting this maybe legal or contractual advice somehow with them. And then you've got over here in the periphery, you've got this other individual who's like, I like you. And you're like, I don't know about you because I got some shit to deal with over here. And um, but they're in your mind and they're just kind of in this cloudy, wishy-washy place. And then we've got the two of swords, which is like, where, where are you going to, what direction are you going to go with this? Where are you going to? put your attention and time and it's giving you a little bit of anxiety right more swords swords represent information they represent um knowledge and this can be the hamster on its wheel paddling away in your uh, in your mind at night losing some sleep some anxiety about this decision this choice for our capricorns we got another card and this is yeah this is standing by what you believe this is fighting off doubts whether they're yours or somebody else's this is like you have to put your energy right now in love you've got to put your energy into a little bit of housekeeping somebody else had a, a housekeeping type of Flipping but not flying, we've got the Queen of Wands. Going, keeping, so keeping, doing what you have to in order to also, appearances are important here. So appearing like you got things under control, appearing good, appearing uh, stable, um, confident. So it's like, um, while you've got this offer that's coming in over here with somebody who's kind of new and somebody who's different, um, you've got this, and maybe lusty and all that, there's some attraction there. You've also got this mainly on the reading is like, you got to pay, you don't want to lose your balance with this. You want to pay attention. You want to like tie this all up. Somebody's on their way out and you're getting some, you've got good people or a good entity around you, uh, for advice. 
and um, you're really that hermit energy. It's just like you're following your instincts and you're, yeah, okay. And then the card that we turned over from your oracle at the very end, new love. So <laughs> oh, that feels like a relief, doesn't it? That feels like a nice, nice concept. New love, this queen of cups, this ace of wands. Aces are always offers. This coming forward, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So tarot is reminding you, yes, this is over here. Yes, this is the light. This is the bright, brilliant light waiting for you. Let me get a little bit more out on that because it feels good. New love for my Capricorns. Let's just get a little bit more out on that. I know you guys are busy. You guys are holding down the fort, doing what you have to do to hold down the fort. Let's get a little bit more about new love because it just feels good, right? And that's what this is all about. King of Rods, but upright. Hmm. King of Pentacles. Wheel of, King of Pentacles is your energy. Pentacles is uh, ruled by earth signs. We've got Wheel of Fortune, Four of Swords. This is so funny. For some of you guys, this is the same person. For some of you guys, this is the same person. Not all of you, just have to say it. Some of you guys, it's like they're gonna come back balanced. Remember that king of that king of wands? I was like, they're being a jerk. They're on their out, on their on the outs. Well, and I was saying it could be a person, it could be a way of doing things, it could be the okay. So for just I have to say, for some of you guys, this guy's coming back. Okay, I'm balanced now. And uh, things are not so bad, are they? And here you are with them, the King of Pentacles. And we've got Wheel of Fortune that is talking about coming back into the picture, Four of Swords, in this contemplative place of gratitude. That is for some of you guys. Um, others of you, I think it is somebody new. It's going to be just somebody who is wearing their heart on their sleeve. They might be a water sign. They might be creative, romantic, and all that. Um, but... Uh, I'm having a hard time seeing it as somebody new. You're going to be doing it differently, for sure. You're going to be doing it differently. And all of this, what I love about the Wheel of Fortune is that all of this is meant to be. It's a reminder that everything has its place and things sometimes you need to go through whole bunch of shit in order to appreciate and also in order to fall upon the right scenario, the right situation. Um, it helps us evolve. Very interesting reading, you guys. Feel free to comment if you feel like sharing. I'd love to know what's up with you guys. And uh, like and of course subscribe if you think this will be beneficial to you. Take good care.